there's been a lot of concern about uh, monarchs and habitat availability. Uh, they're being considered for listing as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Roadside management might be the key to breathe life into the monarch population. Researchers from Oklahoma State University and the Department of Transportation are looking for solutions. Kristen Baum is an associate professor in the Department of Integrated Biology at OSU. I'm working with Dennis Martin, who's with the Department of Horticulture and Landscape Architecture, um, looking at mowing regimes. And so we're interested in what the timing and frequency of mowing uh, does to milkweed availability for monarchs. Monarch butterflies love milkweed. They lay their eggs in the plant and the caterpillars then feed off of it. Milkweed is abundant in pastures and along roadsides, but is typically mowed over, consequently leaving a void for monarchs. So certainly there's aspects of, of mowing and roadsides that um, are uh, extremely necessary. So for example, um, mowing the safety zone. Um, and so that would be from the, the roadside um, over a distance. So that way when motorists need to pull over, or if you think around turns and at inter interchanges and things like that. Um, so there's some parts of, of the roadside mowing that are, are not being considered for, for change. While safety zones need mowing, a common practice is to mow beyond the safety zone and wider roadsides. Extension turf grass specialist Dennis Martin has worked with ODOT in vegetation research and extension initiatives for 26 years. Really? Two years ago, Martin put in a proposal to ODOT to see if it could alter its mowing practices outside the safety zones. Outside that clear zone or safety zone, uh, they can try to improve habitat for pollinators such as the monarch. Uh, not all of that area outside of there is suitable for use in habitat. Some of it contains a lot of uh, invasive species, but some areas are quite high quality and can be worked with. Well, ODOT has an interest in the monarch butterfly in that we don't want to see it uh, become an endangered species. Uh, just from a practical highway business standpoint, that would impact our highway programs because like any time we uh, impact habitat for an endangered species, uh, environmental issues come up with our projects and we could perhaps have to start buying habitat or creating habitat if it were to become a listed species. Mirth says ODOT jumped at Martin's proposal and workers delayed mowing the summer when the monarchs moved through and set aside these plots near the university for Baum and Martin's research. It turns out other pollinators may also benefit. So it's hard to put a value on one particular species. Um, and so the monarch is a very iconic insect. It's one that's very well known and, and you know, pretty much everybody you talk to has a, a monarch story about, you know, how they used to see, you know, tons or they saw a, a, a roosting site where they kind of aggregate in the trees uh, during migration. Um, and so it's, it's a, a species that a lot of people can relate to and, and some of the practices and changes in management that we can do that would benefit monarchs could benefit it a lot of other species as well. But it's also an opportunity uh, for improving things for posterity. It's a species that we can save and it just requires a few tweaks of our management practices and habitat, not only improvement of habitat but also habitat maintenance and, and we can fix this problem. The Monarch Research Project is a multi-year study that is just getting started and though there are still a ton of questions left up in the air, scientists hope the results will keep the monarchs up there too. In Payne County, I'm Curtis Herring.